Greetings, beautiful souls. I'm Sonia Leskis, and this is your love angel message. There's a final goodbye. Someone didn't have the courage to persevere to a sacred union, choosing a karmic union over a sacred union. All right, let's clear our space. Close your eyes, take a deep inhale, breathing in the breath of God. Dropping in your heart space, calling forward your sinner masters, your spirit guides and angels. We are the violet flame, we are the purity God desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us discernment with the righteous and the wicked. Calling in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael for healing, Archangel Michael shielding, clearing us. <coughs> Excuse me. Archangel Gabriel, bring us spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and spiritual heart. To the north, we woke Archangel Uriel, commanding forth your divinity, your light, and your grace. From below is Archangel Sanofin, and Archangel Metatron brings us the God South the Christ Consciousness. We declare this our sacred space. We are protected on all six corners as above as below. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> so you're attracting new relationships. You know that you can do whatever you put your mind to. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you have new vitality, you have a new beginning because you put the effort in. So someone's birthday could be August 1st or January 8th. Somebody here doesn't know, know their purpose. So you had to move over. You had to move forward. You had to find balance. Somebody here is not balanced and they are under heavy judgment. Yeah, someone is between two worlds, sadness and isolation. And somebody doesn't have clarity. They don't have clarity on a new beginning. They don't have clarity on transformation. You believe and you are succeeding. You're heading towards the light. Yeah, out of balance. Someone want, doesn't want someone to end. Their sacral chakra is blocked. Solar plexus is blocked. They didn't have the discipline to let go of fear. You have released fear. A situation is no longer funny. Somebody is daydreaming about making a decision with you. Someone here could be born in 67 or that could be June 7th. Your healing began when you let go of fear, when you and you got discipline, your heart chakra healed. You started nurturing yourself. So March 6th could be of significance. Someone here couldn't rebuild. A lot of you have let go of the guilt to find balance. You've blossomed. You've gone through a major transformation. So a lot of you are standing in your divine power. You know who you are. You're connecting to your higher self and you're breathing. You've detached. Funny, I saw a morning dove this morning. So morning dove is Holy Spirit, purification, purity, innocence. You're in a place of gratitude. You're very thankful for all the opportunities. And you're being observed. Like all eyes are on the divine feminine, divine masculine. These are people that didn't break free. They don't know how to heal. You had to move on from these people. And... You released like a very heavy burden. Some of you released like a devil energy whose heart chakra was blocked. You're attracting people who serve your higher self. Their intuition is blocked and you're working on your root chakra so you feel safe. Your finances are balanced. They didn't want to change and you're learning to accept that you can't change things that don't want to be changed. So you're moving away from regret. You're persevering. You know that whatever you set your mind to with God, it will persevere. You're not worried. You're not in a place of envy. You know exactly what you want. And these people are not free. They didn't have the courage. You are listening to God. You have spiritual growth. 
There's no new opportunity here. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, inner, they didn't follow their heart. They're not on their true path. They didn't get a sacred connection. Someone <clears throat> didn't speak their truth, walked away from a sacred connection because they didn't have the courage to persevere. They didn't understand the lessons. Anything else, Holy Spirit? So you have, you're on a vibration of prosperity. You're attracting health, wealth, happiness. You're in a healing light. Everything is unfolding. And you are a devoted Christ warrior. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Cleanse, continue to cleanse your space daily. Whatever you're doing, frankincense is the highest vibration to clear this right now. Your sea salt bath, salt around your house, salt around your bed, feeding you to the wolves. Clearing your space is going to block them from, from coming back in and prayer and meditation. Someone here had to be at the center of attention. You are no longer interested or they're no longer interested in the partner they're in. Somebody needs to journal. And these are people that tried to center you. You learned to sow lesson because you are a powerful light worker. We reap what we sow. You're a messenger from God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You seek solitude and focused in inner life. So you went inward to find your inner light. You have a new powerful intention coming in, a new romance opportunity. Somebody here using talent excuse to mistreat others. Um, someone pretending that they're poor. Obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destruction, devotion. Somebody here is very obsessed and not in a good way. Intoxication with destruction power, destroying other people's dreams and potential. This person wanted to destroy you, your dreams, your potential, your mission, your purpose. Anything that makes you happy, this person was trying to destroy it. <clears throat> Cruelty, using power to control. Someone here has a God complex. Delight in the art without having to be a professional. You are alerted to the danger of becoming superficial. Wow. Talent for creating supporting life. Positive guided, guided light with a tribal unit. So you're finding your soul tribe. Chosen one, you said yes to God. You are appointed and ordained by God. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Stay balanced, humbled, and in gratitude. Anything else, Holy Spirit? I saw this deck this morning in meditation. So let's see. People are not at peace. They're losing their abundance. What else, Holy Spirit? So this fox that has been hiding... They want a return for some communication, <clears throat> but they're not on their path. They haven't fully ascended. They haven't been enlightened. They, they're not awakened. Someone wants to come back because your wishes are getting fulfilled. Things are getting enlightened. You're in your faith. You went the right path. You have an opportunity. You have an engagement. Somebody here is beside themselves. They didn't give you a love offer. They are not in their true north. They need to cut something out. There's no sacred wisdom here. And let's see who this is. Holy Spirit. Some sending out an SOS. You have KB, KM, HC, I saw. BC, Ben. Someone's name could be Ben. Deb. MC. CM. Easy. Someone took the easy way out. FK Frank. N O O N I. And A P. Okay, let's get some guidance. for what guidance I will repay you for the years locusts have eaten you will have plenty to eat until you are full 
you all praise his name of the Lord.